Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring and we're going to be taking on the Water Catacombs. Anybody googling this just after you've defeated Rodan, let me just say that I recommend coming back here later when you're much higher level. I feel like this dungeon is a very nice barometer as to how you're going to do um, post uh, Lando Capital. The enemies here have much more health, do a lot more damage, and I feel like it is definitely comparable to like kind of the, the first Snowfields area, if not even a little bit higher, so... I think you can definitely use this place as a bit of a um, like a test bed to just see whether or not you know you feel like you're ready for that. Quite a lot going on in here. Um, tons of enemies here going to be fighting each other, and there's a few different orders in which you could probably deal with stuff. We're going to choose to deal with the lower bit first just to get it done. So we're going to take this first left here with there's a load of stairs. Probably going to get infected by the rot here. I really don't have that much in the way of um, curatives, so if I get too infected by it, I'm probably just going to have to restart realistically speaking, which is why we're going to get it out of the way now. So we're just going to try and get around the way of most of this. There's a few good bits of loot down here, and there's enemies that can aggro on us, so we just need to be careful. No, that's not the way I want to go. I thought there was a, yes, little pathway we need to take. There should be some imps, whatever they're called, over this way. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be more than one. Where's the rest? There's one. Whoa, excuse me. You can stop that now. Uh, I thought there was more than that here. It just gets us in for that. Ghost Clue for. Ah, I knew there was one more. Oh my god, that damage. This is why you shouldn't let stuff hit you. And I can't heal. Why didn't my heal go off? I just pressed it. I got a bit of a button delay there. Something that happens in these games, it never seems to have been. Uh, like kind of fixed. Let's get some. There we go. Right. <laughs> I take way too. I take so much damage. It's not even funny. Right. Come here. Get off. I'm dead. I'm not. Woohoo! Hopefully, it'll get better. Good thing is, as you'll see here, as they kill each other, you will get the runes for them. So this here um, is an interesting kind of AFK rune farm. Oh, they've even dropped me a helmet. That's very nice of them. So that's this lower part done. If you are in, like, really dire straits, now's going to be a good time to go ahead and rest the grace. Um, I think we can make it. Let's change this. To this for now. I always find it easier to go to the left first here. Um, behind us right now is going to be um, a great bow slash archer type guy and we don't really want to be messing with it. If we can help it it's gonna hurt. It's not really firing at me right now which is interesting. There it is. I'm just gonna get in through here as quickly as we can. Immediately a second one. You're gonna want to dash into here and we really need to deal with this guy very quickly because that guy will patrol that will patrol down to pursue us so man get off you coming down I'm gonna try and catch you with the moon blade I'm gonna stagger stun you come here you recover really quickly I wonder if this will take away some of your uh, boys. Not enough of it. Yeah, it didn't work out as well as I'd like, but never mind. We got through that one. Um, we got another guy here. I think this um, should take us out to where we could see before. Where are we? Yeah, so this is um, where we patrolled under where the um, big pool of rot was. So you don't want to go out of this window, realistically speaking.
Yeah, as I say, don't, don't be uh, fooled or lulled into any soul security around here. You down. Now, of course, because you're at such a long range, you can go ahead and this charging. It's nowhere near enough, is it? <laughs> Dodged it. Oh my god, the damage is ridiculous. Oh, he's just buffed himself. Now he's going to do more damage. Ordinarily as well, it's difficult to actually get away from them to uh, to get a heal off as well, because they can just fade to you like that. <laughs> Cheeky there. But yeah, the fade step is a real issue. Really? I hate that they can spam it like that. <laughs> like... It's not very often I like to call BS, but that is really BS move set in my opinion. <laughs> Especially when they've got hit read on your on your buttons as well, so they like literally will fade step as you're casting or using in the ability. Uh so now we do want to jump up this way. We should have Yeah, gremlin things over there. I'm trying to deal with you from range. There's all sorts of crap up there as well. You please, come on. Come on down. Come on down. It's gonna be another one up there as well, I believe. I think I'm sure there's a third. Oh yeah, third and fourth. Here we go. <laughs> So that's the same archer we could see before. Now, as well as that guy, there's also a clean rot knight that is down that way on the left. So it's like they've separated it in the perfect way. The, only we get attacked by them. So we're gonna cheese this guy. Whilst my blessed dew heals me. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There it is. Cheating! Oh man. Oh, that had got me then. Get down. Luckily, we're almost there. Although the uh, the boss of this area is also bullcrap. Although if I have to fight anything else, we're out of FP. So much playing like a mage. Oh no, this is it, yeah. So here's the uh, switch for the door. Lovely jubbly. Okay, and now... Oh, we can't even fast travel out. That's a shame. We'll go back to the grace to rest. And then we can go ahead and face the boss. And we can just about use a level. Yay! I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We don't need any more equipment. Load. We should be good now. I mean, a tiny bit. Getting this up to forty is obviously gonna be good, but not right now. We'll take. We'll take some minor damage increases. The point of this build is to be kind of glass cannon slash DPS build. It just doesn't seem to work against higher level enemies. And uh, with these enemies being as strong as they are, DLC is going to be worse, by the way. So we're going to make our way through here as quickly as possible. Ideally, we don't want to get hit. We need to fight any of this now. Just make our way down. This is going to be Ulcerated Tree Spirit. A nasty one in a tight space. So I highly recommend bringing in a, uh, a plus 10 summon of any kind. T 
Tish does very well against it. Go straight for the grab. That gets me, I'm dead. Should have bought rocks in here. That's usually pretty good. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Damage be good. No. Just try Moonblade on you. Let's get away of that. Oh, you know what? Shard Spire is going to be good against you, isn't it? You're a long enemy. Come here. Eat this. <laughs> I need to get a heal off, though. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm so dead. Another round of them, and you're gone. See ya. Any big enemy just cannot put up with barrage of shard spiral. There we are. At least we got a summon out of it. We don't need golden seeds anymore. But that finishes the war dead catacombs, which is good. You know what? Because it's such a short episode, we are going to do the tunnel. I keep on saying we don't need to do it, but. I want to at least try and get close to 20 minutes for these episodes, so let's do that. It'd be nice to get a level. So we're going to move on over to the... It'll be quicker from here, I think. So we'll go to the Outer Wall Phantom Tree Grace. And then we're going to mount up. We're going to head straight east for this kind of ruined-looking piece of terrain we can see over this way. There'll be a Grace... Uh, a Grace. An Ash of War for us to get down here. Obviously, there'll be a Grace in the cave. There's a, an Iron Maiden. Somebody kind of likes breaking the statue this Iron Maiden gets. Someone commented the last time I went through here, but I'm still going to leave it. <laughs> so just going to make our way down. There's really not much else on this left side. I guess it kind of is a shortcut to something. Just, to the, I don't know, a bit weird. In any case, uh, down here we should have Scarab. Come on. Come back to me. Oh, why'd you have to go so far? Okay. Well, if we can catch you in this little valley bit. That's going to work for me, isn't it? Aha. <laughs> Slugs everywhere. There we go. Careful strike. And then right into the little crevice here, we'll have a cave that I can't remember the name of. I think it's called something like Sealed Tunnel. It's got like quite a few um, illusory walls in it. It's not even told what it's called. <laughs> oh dear. So, quick rest as usual, and we can head on in. Was I right? Seal tunnel, ha ha! Ha ha ha! Boom! Uh, you, Ooh, wrong thing. It's gonna be overkill. He says, it didn't do anywhere near the damage I thought it might. Oof. Right, you. Um, here you wanna go up this way first. For this, and then you can jump down here for this loot. Behind this is invisible wall. I think I'm, I was going to say I think I'm about to get aggroed on because it's one of these. Another invisible wall here. We'll deal with that in a second. I think that's everything. Don't think this one is. No. Spiky Rapier. It's been pretty good, actually. Uh, oh, did I see that we can upgrade that now? I think we can. 20... Yeah, that's enough to get to 21. And enough to get to 22. Yay, we can upgrade the Rapier. Just for those risky times when I do have to poke something. So now we can head on in. As always, if there is anything, it'll be on the left side. I don't know why it's always on the left side. 
but it is. I can see this lot. Somebody clearly likes the rest left side, don't they? Coming in here. And here. So many loser rewards here that it's almost obvious now. Right, so being as we have range on our side. Can I reach across there with this now? Yeah, we can. Oh my god, that range is lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have been blessed. Oh, bit more FP. You have no idea what it was like playing without that range. <laughs> it's like, I'm playing a ranged character with no range. Right. One down here. Anything following shouldn't be. I think we pretty much got everything. It's no sort of key. Uh, so down here, I think there's a few bits of loot on the ground. Is there any loot on the ground? Yeah, there's a smithing stone behind it. And I want to say in there are smithing stone fives. You know what, let's, let's do it. Against my better judgment. Come on. Oh, we can summon now. Interesting. I didn't know we could summon down here. That's changed. Keep on me. Keep on me. Yep, do your... Come on then. That's not what I wanted. I need you to do like... Yeah, some of that. That'll do perfect. Nope, still didn't break it. That's just absurd. Come over here. Come here. Oh, you did break it. Haha, <laughs> good. Smith Stone 6 is time to There we go. I don't think it's worth it. Um... I mean, that didn't go too badly, but I would say, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's not worth getting cornered in there. I've been pinned in there before when it does its, like, charge thing at you, and I was just like, yeah, I don't I don't think that's worth it, really. But it's there. You guys can see what's in there now. Some stone five. We can head back up the ladder. At least it makes it more complete, which is good. Excuse me, ladder. Give me the... Why wouldn't it let me on the ladder? There we go. <laughs> didn't want to let me back out. But I feel like uh, being able to have the summon down there makes a big difference in that encounter. So that probably is what stopped me getting trapped. So now we're going to head down this way. And then... loot through the route. I want to come on down this right hand side. Careful all these bombs, there's going to be loads of mines everywhere. There are quite a lot of them. There's, there's like big groups of them. Get ruin fragments from them. Ugh. Losers. Let's put one off a bit. Get the way of that, thank you. Making our way down the tunnel. Um, so another bit to get. I don't think there is. Oh, there we go. You want to get on that? Yeah, there's nothing on it. There we are. And there's going to be surrounded by them here. So get out the way of that. It's very likely to kill you. Now for boss. Is it stone to control? Could be. Dun 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 dun. 
Golden. Let's go. Oh, it's that. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem, really. That Lootle is pretty much going to solo it. It's <laughs> the end of that guy. I believe we can't get in here yet. Fairly I can't remember if this is Moogs or Millennia's tower, but basically we won't have the room to get in here yet, so we can't get in. Well, maybe maybe we do, because we did defeat Moog. Not Moog, Mo we defeated Morgoth, didn't we? Moog is soon. Was it? We can't get in yet. We haven't got the right room for that yet. But that rounds this episode out nicely. Got some runes to burn. Let's go with some health. It's going to be a good idea. And that closes out the episode. So, we have got two more open world dungeons left to do, which we should do. I'm putting them off a little bit because they're both kind of bull crappy. But we've got to do them. So, we'll start with the Aritza Hero's Grave and um, we'll probably move on to the Aritza Side Tomb in the next episode. Shouldn't take us too long. And then we've got subterranean stunning grounds. So that's going to feel much more like we're progress progressing through the game again. And then we'll be uh, out the other end of the capital. See you guys again soon for that.